Well, inflation is the topic no one really wants to talk about, but it impacts every American. So how can you save money at the grocery store? Consumer reporter John Matteris has answers so you don't waste your money. Dr. Shelley Kirk is a nutritionist who, like all of us, has been stunned by the recent rise in grocery prices. I think there's sticker shock. But she says you can lower those soaring bills with a shopping strategy, starting with a plan for five meals a week. You want to make up a list. You want to figure out your meals in advance. And never shop hungry. Because that's going to... Oh open the door for a lot more impulse buying. Skip pre-sliced fruits and vegetables, which are often three times the price. And you think, well, this is a, a time saver for me, but the cost. Shelly says also skip expensive steak dinners. When people think about a meal and its center is the meat, that's where you go off. Instead, buy less expensive beef that can be used in multiple meals. Stretch the meat that you do have. So whether it's in a chili or a stew or a soup. Example, homemade chili that costs less than $10 and lasts forever. Or you can actually have it as a taco meal. You can, you can use chili in a variety of ways. Shelly says avoid shopping with young children if you can, but if you have to bring them, just remember that the sugary snacks are going to be down at their eye level. And they see things that are at their eye level and they're often not very nutritious for you. She says give kids water, not expensive and sugary juice boxes. You can bypass on this and save a bundle. Want 1980s prices? She says look for recipes that use rice. So here is brown rice. Or pasta, which still costs pennies per serving. It's a staple and it's affordable. Finally, she says use coupons, buy store brands, and stock up when things are on sale. And that's going to be a money saver. And that way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.